Mountain biking gets you off the streets, it gets you out of the city, and you can see so much of the back country in mountain biking. You travel through it so much. It gives you an appreciation for nature. I did mountain bike racing in the early days. I actually started as a road racer, and about 1983, uh, mountain bike racing started coming on the scene. And I was, a, I was actually working in a motorcycle shop, so I, I knew the mechanics. I'd had a background in, in some motocross, and I was a road racer. So then when mountain bikes started first coming on the scene, I thought, oh man, that's perfect. Starting in 83 and 84, I was a pretty successful uh, mountain bike racer. In 84, I started with, uh, got a sponsorship from Schwinn, race for Schwinn from 84 to 87. And then starting in 88, I started racing for the Specialized team and I've, I've been with them ever since. Collected a few titles on the way. We had some world championships before the UCI recognized uh, mountain biking. So they used to have world championships every year in Europe and one in the US. I won three of those. And then the UCI in 1990 officially recognized mountain biking. So, uh, so that's where you had national teams. There was only going to be one world champion. They'd get the, the rainbow uh, striped jersey if they won. Rainbow colors on your collar and your sleeves, you know, for the rest of your life, for the rest of your career. So that's an important one because people recognize, hey, you're the world champion. I had a reputation, my style of racing, not just a reputation, would be sometimes I'd be, I'd be kind of slow. Right, I, I'm not a super powerful racer, maybe say like a guy like Rishi Graywall or John Tomac. I would be going full throttle, but I wouldn't be at the front. So I'd have to wait till guys like uh, got tired a little bit, right? Till, till they came back to me. So a lot of races I didn't win sometimes till the last lap. And uh, so I'd be coming from behind and guys would know I'd be coming. So they'd, you know, Deadly Nedley was kind of a nickname that, that followed that. Uh, that style of racing. Then after 96, I kind of officially retired from World Cup mountain bike racing, and I started Xterra Triathlon. So uh, I got some podium finishes early on in, in Xterra, and, and finally worked up to win the world championships in 88 and 89. And uh, I love to ride. I'm living in Durango, Colorado, which is a, a great place to be a cyclist. And uh, all you gotta do is drive around town, you see the kayak racks, right? You see people's ski racks. You, uh, obviously they got the mountain bike racks on there. Uh, you know, there, there's great climbing. They got the, Uray has an ice park. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here. You can get overwhelmed with the gear. <laughs> I feel very fortunate to uh, have made my life in, in doing a sport that's, that's outdoors and specifically in mountain biking. Hopefully it's, uh, it's gonna make me live longer. <laughs>